What are the measures that the European Parliament suggests to boost territorial cooperation throughout Europe? I had the honour to be a rapporteur on this report and I, I met the full support from the Regi Committee and then the great majority in the plenary. What is the core of this report? That the territorial cooperation, cross-border cooperation, cross-national cooperation is very important and there are many, many opportunities to develop further this cooperation. There are best practices, there are very good examples there are great examples uh, for cross-border cooperation of Italy. Italy agrees about the services in tourism, Italy, Austria about the prevention of uh, forest fires, for example. There are great examples uh, in borders between Belgium and Luxembourg, uh, Belgium and Netherlands, uh, Czech Republic and Germany, Poland and Germany, Bulgaria and Romania and Greece a lot of good examples of very useful, successful projects which are very close related to uh, the needs and wishes of the citizens of the Union. And this is the, the main, the main uh, message from the report. The second message is to relate this instrument with the other instruments of the Union, to use uh, smart specializations in cross-border cooperation, to use um, the new Fund for Strategic Investments, for example, for some cross-border projects. And maybe the, the third important message, to communicate, to share the experience, to share the best practices, to inform citizens of Europe about the successful stories in the territorial cooperation. How do you think this cooperation can improve between member states? Yes, first, first of course we have to think about the overall budget for these kind of activities because the budget for territorial cooperation in the current period is not very large. Secondly, we have to uh, somehow to avoid the obstacles of the different legislation in different member states. And in this direction the report supports the initiative, initiative of Luxembourg Presidency which is to create a special regulation which helps the border regions to avoid differences between the legislation in different member states. The third thing, simplification of the procedures. How to make things simple to involve more and more participants. Other than the public authorities, how can the private sector take advantage of this territorial cooperation between member states? Thank you. Thank you for this question. It is very important and this is part of the report as well. Uh, we, we discussed this concerning uh, the whole cohesion policy and regional development policy. But this is very important to involve the private sector. Involve not only the private money, but the private experience, the experience of the private sector and close this private uh, sector to the public projects and make them PPP, public-private partnership. This is, this is the basis for, for development of cross-border cooperation as well, to involve private sector in it.